and Margaret East from ME's Orchids. We were discussing this Neo Falcata. Hey friends, let's open up this Neo Falcata. I don't recall the name. I wrote on here that the tags were mixed up when I opened four different plants at the same time, but I somehow chose this one to stay with the plant. So there's a high probability that this is a Neo Falcata. It's a white one. Kenrukakaku, hmm, something like that. Astrocentrum ampulacilium crossed with the Alba Fuchsia Snow. We'll see when it's bloomed what it is. But let's take off all this stuff. It has that one root that you see and I know I have a mound of stuff up here because another root was growing. Hey, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Those are still good. Those, this one at the end can be trimmed. Looks like it is a two planted. It's one plant. Hmm. Maybe that's what they call a kiki. Kiki? Coming off the side? But it's all connected via this rhizome. Let me go give a rinse to these roots and shake them off and see what we have left. Okay. Not too many dead things. Yay! There's one big mushy one from here. We'll cut those off. It obviously spiked for someone else at the nursery before, but she hasn't spiked for me. Right at the V at the bottom of the rhizome, that's where the second shoot, the second fan starts up. So I think I'm excited. She's actually one of the healthiest plants <laughs> that I have grown. Now, what to put her back in? Should I put her back in that big pot? And try to dome up the middle with another small pot underneath it? Or shall I try to put her in a whole other smaller container? I think I chose a cone pot to put her in. I'm going to put some of my bark that's over here. I don't know if you can see it. It's a mix in the bottom. It has some perlite, medium bark, little bits of charcoal. Since that's what she came out of, I'm going to try that. Tuck it in. Come on, girlfriend. Just tuck it in. Tucking them in. Good job. Good job, little plants. I'm proud of you. Whoops, don't need a big rock. Hmm. 
wanted her to try to be more upright. So I am going to try to put a stake in there at the end. I will still put that moss on the top. This one is trying its best to grow. Let's see if I can get it to go down. Hmm. It's gonna take a rock to hold that baby down. She wants to come up. Then I will get some wet moss and put her on there. Okay, <clears throat> the moss we had before was pretty fresh. So I just put that on those roots earlier, so let's see if we can make this one stand up taller. Maybe lean forward. Some of that white moss around there. She just got watered on Friday. Today is what is today? Tuesday? So no need to drench her. Her roots look green. Cover up those beautiful green roots. Now I'm happy I can let her go through the winter without wondering what's going on underneath her. Tuck all that in. Good job, little plant. Good job. Woohoo! All right. I thank you for watching my quick little video on repotting this Neo Falcata. Not quite certain which one her name is until she blooms. Thank you. See you later.